Hey all gorgeous and beautiful people welcome back to all of you once again hope you all are doing well so this is Nikhil all the way from a snow tech and today we are going to explore about how to create a search source for service portal basically search source is used to search a resources from the portal let's suppose if you want to search any records like incident problem or if you want to search catalog or the knowledge articles you can search from the service portal using this search bar let's search request here and check it like that we can search article also see now this service portal is using for to search catalog item and articles only if you want to define another source source for this portal to search other records like incident you can define from here search sources and here you can see all the listed search sources that is configured for specific portals and if you want to check that what all resources we can search from this portal can just simply type here portals and under the service portal application click this menu and open in new tab and as you already know that the suffix for the service portal is sp so we can search by typing here sp let's open it see if you scroll down towards a related list you will find this search sources lists so here you can see using this portal we can search catalog item and knowledge articles and if you want to define for to search incident records we can just select from available search sources but right now we don't have any source source for to search incident record for that we have to create a new search sources so without wasting our previous time let's create source sources so click this new button to create a source source this source source name you can give it like a incident you can see inc underscore rec this id play a vital important role while searching and that you will know later okay you will know after some time and here you can see the template HTML template to show the view of search data and if you want to design based on your desired look you can design but we are just learning how to create a search source for incident record so I'm not going to focus here so here you can see you can just simply select the table or you can type a scripted code to achieve this service so i'm going to use the scripted source so that i have already clicked this checkbox and let's save it great gr and enter tab button you will get this much of code by doing that so let's Prettify and the query we will receive from this IIME function stands for immediate invocation function expression. So IR underscore and score query creating to search incident records. So here our table will be incident and we will get the query from this function expression. So type query here. Great. So based on template, you can create an object and set the properties and push into this results array. And this results array will be used here to show the data of particular match records. And instead of if, we have to use while because we can receive more than a one record based on query filter so let's create an object 
very well item okay an item dot for a primary text this template is using this primary property that's why i am using your primary and if you want to change you can change from here also as well as here also but just uh, let it be and gr dot for the primary text i'm going to do sort for description dot to string and to overcome the problem of receiving an object i am already converting it into string so item dot number for that gr dot number dot to string if required we will use and for the table name table think the property would be table only yes table the name of the property for the table is table so here i made the mistake a dot not the comma so here gr dot instead of uh, i just prefer to type here incident and item dot sys underscore id so the sys id is gr dot to string as well as if you want to show secondary fields like here you can see if dot display value item dot fields you can see right so for that also you can choose what all fields you want to display as a secondary level so item dot secondary equal to get secondary and we will create this function uh, we will define this function uh, to this function as an argument we have to pass a current object as well as what all data you want to display as a secondary for that i am just going to create uh, i am just going to pass an array with the field name like uh, this one to show color and this for id and category sign to okay that's it and let's define this function here function get secondary so we are receiving a client record object and the fields okay uh, instead of secondary i shall have to leave it as a field because here they are using this fields property not the secondary so let's rename it to fields okay great fields underscore data it's great So we have to iterate this array using for loop and to collect the data and have to store into this array. So it's simple for equal to zero, i less than will start length. And make sure that you are storing into this. Okay, otherwise the data will not shown to you. So results dot push and item here. Okay. Then only you this data will be appear to you. It's good. 
so we have to do it like that uh, same here also let's create vr data kind of variable data dot we have to check the label name and field name from here label property and field name property from here okay So here you can see the label name is label itself and the display value okay so we have to fetch the label name of this color id label will be current dot get element field name fills i we have to get the element description also of get ed dot get label okay. and data dot display disco value will be current dot get display value display value and the free name here I hope I am not uh, doing any mistakes while typing. So let's insert into this array fields underscore data dot push data. After that, we have to return this array. So after a for loop, just return else underscore data. That's it. So that's all for creating a scripted source source to source the resources. Let's save it and Let's add it into edit for this portal service portal. So okay. Let's open this. Edit. See here we have an incident. There was no issue. Okay. Okay, and I just like to search some incident records based on the number. Incident. Let's open all the reports and let's search this record. That is a close. I don't want to search. Let's search this in progress. Refresh it. Enter. Okay, here you can see we have fills is not defined. Okay, we are getting the error. Here, fills is not defined. Obviously, name I this. We made the mistake here. Hopefully, it will work. Let's save it again. See, we are getting the data. And if you click this, or if you click this incident record source sources, it will show. 
and the fields uh, we have selected as a secondary that is color category sign to here you can see right color category sign to next friend we have this facet generation script what is this this is basically used to this basically provide i have noted that the facet basically provide an extra feature to add additional purifier filters to the users and there is a related list also you can add from there but friend it's good practice to try with the script first okay so to create a facet we have facet service dot create facet so let's see how we can use this okay so I just want to create a facet here for state based on state I just want to filter okay next we have to add state dot state dot add facet item okay uh, for that I just want to open this records and make the choices you can see one two three four uh, new in progress okay let's suppose one two three for the close also it is three okay one two three just give it save it and check here see here you can see right as soon I created the facet all this new on in progress on hold closed has been came here but how to use right if I click this in progress nothing will happen on hold nothing will happen because I have just created and I am not using this so for that wherever we are searching the records we can check that I set hopefully it will also work <laughs> the facet is not defined mm, the actual name is facets not the facet okay. So by using this state, see here, we are searching. We are searching a particular record, and this record, this state, this state is not available for this incident record. So for this incident record, in progress is available. If we click this in progress, hopefully it will. Okay, it is showing. I am going to do is just type incident. Let's see. If you want to search specific in progress on hold close record you just click in progress here paste it and you can click on hold that's good but what if you have to search based on our condition and there this create multiple choice facet will, will come into picture so okay uh, what i would like to do is that based on i just want to add the services to search through category and that will be a multi select filters like if we can select more than one filters and that will work based on our conditions let's open the list of sys choice this dot underscore list incident okay an element obviously category so much i hope you got the idea we will use this filter to get the element name as well as the value let's add another facet that that is for 
to filter based on selected category okay so category equal to face it service dot create multiple choice face it give a name for the category also the category and the actual value is work like uh, backend name okay category that's it so what i want to do is that uh, which o i so the query we can copy from here we have to add as an facet item for this category okay okay and let's save it okay it is not showing okay first so friend here the spelling is multi my bad should so k c is so now the new question arise that how to do right by quick software and hardware how this filter will be applied again facets dot category okay then we can gr dot add query comma that's it save it okay we have to click this so friend it is applied here we have a query help and some records from i think only from inquiry help we have i don't think hardware we from hardware also we have a records why not both like category category okay see here from hardware and the inquiry help reports are common so friend thank you for watching hope you got the idea how to create a sort source using a script and if you really like my video please do subscribe and share it to your friends so that you can